Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenroff here. We're going to be playing some Vintage again in our newest Untap Open League. Uh, this one will have me playing Spirits. It's just Spirit Tribal. 29 Spirits, let's go. Well, 28 and then Mirror Entity, so also a Spirit. Honorary Spirit, eh, it's a Spirit. Alright, so the idea is basically you just play out hate bear spirits. This this one hates on artifacts, this one hates on graveyards, this one hates on can on draw spells, this one just makes them bigger, same here. This one hates on storm, this one makes them bigger, and then spell color for everything. Other than that you play the usual suite of cards that are so good you can't not play them, the other force of will being in the sideboard. Um, and then lots of fast mana and Thorn of Amethyst to slow them down. Uh, now my opponent is on a Snoop combo deck. The idea is supposed to be that you get Snoop, um, let's see, uh, not Crater Maker, uh, Sling Gang Lieutenant to uh, make it where you have a Sack Outlet that lets you Sack Goblins to drain the opponent for infinity, and then Kiki Jiki, either on the field or on the top of the deck, so you can make infinite copies of Snoop. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Or you could use Kiki on Sling Gang. You know. Wait a minute. No, no, you would need Snip, because you need Kiki Jiki on top of the deck. That's right. Alright, my opponent is probably... Where are you? Saying, where are you? Get in here. Alright, no, that's not it. Alright. So, I will say... This, is, this could go horribly wrong. So I'm on the play. I have Black Lotus, Mox Ruby, Thorn of Amethyst. Looking at my opponent's deck again. They have six... oh jeez. Yeah, I, I do want to get this thorn out on turn one. It'll slow them down. But if I do, I'll need blue and white mana uh, coming up. So that's that's not ideal. Oh my goodness. We'll make it work, but dear god. I, I don't know how lucky I feel about this one. I'll say keep. Hopefully I can just win the game by shutting down their mana, not letting them play. Alright. Here goes. Good luck. All right. So, Black Lotus, Mox Ruby. <laughs> you too. All right. White, white, white. Wee! <laughs> And then spirit, because spirit is a creature. This is okay. And then pass turn. Now, it's just a 3 1 in the context of this deck. I don't think that it does actual factual anything. Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> nope, it does not. Okay. Land, good. Alright. Oh, uh, blueberry coffee today, by the way. Alright. Well, that's not ideal. Oh, boy. Hit him for three. Now I have to start worrying about things like Thalia. Uh, certainly a four of, for good reason. Oh, I like that art. Uh, Containment Priest doesn't matter, but Thalia... Oh, well, actually, she doesn't matter too much, but the first strike is what gets me in, in this state. <laughs> in this state that we're in. I may just lose because I didn't get the mana I needed. I, I figured it was fine to go for that turn one thorn, though, against a Moxon deck. Although it is pretty creatureful. Uh, Goblin. Okay. Fair enough. Snoop. And, as a reminder, Snoop is a one-of. Um, play with the top card revealed. Okay. Cool. Alright. Let's untap and draw. See what we get? Okay, we gotta land. We're in this again. Let's see. Sorcery's instance. 
Um, we're not worried about... I guess we could be worried about Pyroblast. Um, they don't have any black mana for the things I really care about, and Once Upon a Time is out. So it's probably best, I would think, for me to go for the Phantom here. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. Since Spirit doesn't do all that much in this matchup, I think it's fine for me to just go for it. Just jam it. Hit them for four. Make them block. With their one Snoop. Itchy nose, good grief. Alright, and then pass turn. Woo! Unfortunately, some of the better spirits in the deck do not fly, so I, it do, I can't really run Imperial Eagle. Spirit of the Labyrinth, Eidolon of Rhetoric, Kataki Wars Wage, those are the ones that don't fly. So while I would like to run another Spirit Lord, um, Drug Skull Captain gets, the, gets in instead of Imperial Eagle. And looking at their list, oh, they played a land that they didn't just show. Alright. Two swords in the sideboard. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, they did a shuffle. Interesting. So there's Crater Maker. That's not good. That's not good at all. So they can play it off the top of their deck. Um, yeah, if they blow up my Mox, then I'll still be able to play out Mausoleum Wanderer. So I'll still have something that I can do. It's not great, but it's... you do what you have to do. Okay, making it uncounterable. I like that. I can't counter it anyway because of Supreme Phantom. I mean, because of Thorn of Amethyst and Supreme Phantom. Alright. Oh, it is only a 2-2, but it is a 2-2. It can't kill Spirit. Uh, it can't kill Supreme Phantom. It can't kill my big spirit. Ah. Uh, Alright, well, they got there. Wait. Ah, oh, they, they didn't activate it. Interesting. Okay, so 1 2 for Crater Maker. 1 2. Oh, they got me. Okay. Oh, and it's Imperial Seal on top. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we may be in a. Bit of a pickle coming up, folks. Alright, draw. I guess we play out another phantom. Uh, and then hit him. Uh, we have to. Boop. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. And then we'll pass. That's not great. Imperial Seal means that they are only missing... Oh wait, but they can't cast it. They don't have black mana. Okay, so that, that could be a lot worse. Hmm, alright. Not, not even a point in attacking with Snoop here. Oh wow. Yeah, so the Wooded Foothills, let's see, they could have gotten Badlands. They did not. Badlands, Plateau, Basic Mountain, Taiga. Oh, okay. Ah. Huh. Okay. Hmm, that means they're only missing one more piece, and then they'll be good. Now, it's not as bad as it may look. I have some stuff I can do. There's Kataki. Kataki can hurt me more at this point, though. So, instead, we probably need to play out the Mausoleum Wanderer. Okay. And then go to combat. Hit them for one. One. Alright. 
Yeah, it could be better. Could be a lot better. Alright. Let's see what's on top. Okay, good. It's just another land. They still don't have the black mana yet. Not, they don't have the black mana for Imperial Seal. Uh, they have Cavern, though. Uh-oh. Uh, once upon a time. Um, wait, 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 wait. Thinking. Okay, so I have Mausoleum Wander. If I use this, I can force him to pay two. Hmm. That doesn't do me a lot of good here, though, unfortunately. They can, after all, still pay it. I'm going to say no response. And just hope that I get lucky here. Oh, Goblin Recruiter. Okay, we lose. We lose. Goblin Recruiter is going to put uh, Kiki Jiki on top. Ooh, interesting. Well, that's already on top. Ah, good game. They have the combo. Alright, so what happens here? Goblin Snoop has the activated ability of Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki says put a creature token into play that's a copy of target non legendary creature you control. Snoop is not legendary, so it makes a copy of Snoop, which makes a copy of Snoop, which makes a copy of Snoop, which makes a copy of Snoop, and then all of them can be sacked to drain. Hello? Game two? Alright, well, that was interesting. That was pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, we'll play another. It beat me to it. Alright, you got that one. And let's see. So, I don't know how much I... On the one hand, Force of Will would be okay at hitting some of their plan. On the other hand, they have Cavern. So I do need to be careful about that. Grafteeker's Cage doesn't do much. It hits Snoop. It hits Snoop's ability to play off the top, but Snoop is a one-up in the deck. That was... That was... I don't mean to be that guy, but that was pretty lucky that they happened to find all of that. Huh. Hmm. There's actually not a whole lot that I have going for me here. I can bring in another force and just hope that it doesn't matter against Cavern. But aside from that, I don't really know what I would be excited to see here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's look at what comes out, what definitely comes out, and that's almost nothing. Even the creatures that don't do anything in the matchup are still creatures. They still matter for that reason. Mental misstep, I know Swords is coming in. Actually, I probably need to keep it just for that. I probably need to put the other sword, Force of Will in just for that sword. Um, hmm. No, I, th I think we're actually pretty well set the way that we are. Which is unfortunate, especially when you just lost the first game. Okay. Here goes nothing. Right. Let's see. So I'm shuffled as well. I'll draw seven. Let's see. Okay. This is fine. I get to go land, mox, time walk, land, hold up spell queller. Or I could uh, play out the Eidolon and then have Forcible Spell Queller. Just double checking that I actually know how the combo works. <laughs> no worries. What I mean by that is that they actually just naturally drew into it. Uh, because when they set. when they. Um, after Once Upon a Time, they had Goblin Recruiter, which meant they were going to win anyway. But when they finished resolving Once Upon a Time, apparently Kiki Jiki just decided. Now's my chance to shine. Um, there are parts of this deck I'm not too terribly worried about. There's Containment Priest, which is just a 2-2 with Flash. That's it. 
There's Thalia, which is almost completely just a 2-1 first strike. Uh, however, if we make it to game 3, then I may be singing a different tune. Yeah, I think it's probably better to go for the Eidolon first. Um, that way, so I'm never realistically going to get into a position where I will have mana to play Eidolon and also to play a Spell Queller in this deck. It's more important for me to just jam the Eidolon. So we'll go turn one, time walk, turn two, Eidolon, hold up Force of Will, Spell Queller. If I don't need the Force of Will, then Spell Queller is just free. A wise man once said, it's free real estate. Alright. Ticking down. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they don't have any zero mana- oh jeez. Zero mana solutions to Mox Pearl. Just, I'm going to guess. I don't even think that I slowed them down that much with Thorn, unfortunately. If they had an all mox in hand, then we'd be singing a different tune. Alright, so using the time walk just as an explore. Alright. Next turn. Draw? Oh, okay. There's that. And that. Eidolon of Rhetoric. So I, I have played more, multiple spells, but because I played Eidolon after the Mox, it's fine. It doesn't like preclude you from being able to play it yourself. Alright, so I have a 1-4 out. That's pretty slow. Hopefully I can resolve the Spell Queller as well. Hopefully. Here's to it. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Okay. Vampiric Tutor. Okay. That's actually pretty well perfect. I will be able to use Spell Queller on the thing that Vampiric Tutor goes and gets. And they can't play a Mox this turn. Or a Lotus Petal, or Black Lotus, or whatnot. Let's see. Okay. So they added it to a face down pile and then added it to hand. Or added it to deck. Alright, cool. So we got. We had our turn of reprieve. Now we're probably in okay shape. Just probably. Oh, and we can even hard cast Force of Will now. Hiya. Poke. Past turn. Alright, so we can option select between hard cast Force of Will and Spell Queller. I don't think that's going to work the way that they think it works. Yeah. Alright, we can just remember that. That's, that's okay. We can remember it. Okay, here goes. Alright, and we're looking at three. Actually, let's go to main two first. And pass. <laughs> I'm just doing some housekeeping, that's all. Take your time. I'll use that for deck thinning in just a little bit. I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll use it to go and get an island. Basic island. Uh, because they do run... Let's see. Their deck has four... Yeah, four wasteland and strip mines. So that might be helpful. A little bit. Okay... And that's our one spell for the turn. Alright. 
EOT. Get rid of that. Alright, and find basic island. Snow covered island. Just thinning that deck. Alright. There we go. Hi, that's helpful. Kind of. Oop, okay. Cool. <laughs> totally matters. Combat. Hit for three. Alright. Pass turn. Yeah, so Mausoleum Wanderer is fun. Um, I'm not sure how much of a difference it's going to make. Guess we'll find out. Alright, so that's their one spell. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. Um, combat. Swing for four. Pass. Don't reveal it until I have to. Or at least wait until I have a second land. Oh, okay. Uh... Hmm... That's not great. I think we still win here. I think that we're still just too far ahead. At this point, they can put out... Uh, the Goblin that... The Black Goblin, then Snoop, then Kiki Jiki. Is probably the best way they have to do this. Okay. They may already have the black one, though. Oh! Yeah, since they're not putting it in, they either messed up the combo, or they already have it. Okay, so the order is Kiki Jiki, then Snoop, or Snoop on top, then Kiki Jiki underneath it. Okay. I need to be careful. Trigger. Swing five. Oh, they already got it. And pass. Alright. So I can counter... It doesn't matter because this only counters uh, instants and sorceries. Okay, Snoop is there. I don't think this works the way they think it works, but yes, now it resolves. They're still missing the black one. So, Kiki Jiki. They can use it to make an infinite number of snoops, but the snoops, all except for one, are going to be tapped. Infinite snoops. Alright. Do they, they... They can't cast anything else, though. It resolves. Yeah. <laughs> With the last Snoop, make a Goblin Recruiter. Yep. Uh, they got there. As long as they don't mess this up, they put the black one on top. And then it has all activated abilities. Okay. That That's clever. I forgot that they could do it this way, since they already had Recruiter out. And the whole thing only requires them to cast one spell this turn. Very nice. I had to make you do it. Yeah, unfortunately, so it's not quite Splinter Twin. They, most of them are going to be coming in tapped, all but the last one. Uh, so it's not exactly Splinter Twin, but <laughs> it's pretty neat. Neat deck. I hope that we get to play again later.
<laughs> Alright. Good games. <laughs> Not the matchup for them. But it but it was cool. <laughs> yeah, this this neat little combo here. I dig it. Hi. How did you sideboard? I didn't. My board wasn't prepared for the Snoop Dogg <laughs> matchup. Put in swords and artifacts slash enchantment, hey. Which for them would be swords and... oh, by force. I don't see the enchantment, hey. Uh, oh, wear tear. That's right, wear tear. Okay. Yeah, uh, but it, it didn't matter. They didn't end up seeing them. But taking the recruiter, I mean, you do what you have to do. Yeah, there, there isn't a lot of creature match or creature shenanigans going on. I didn't even bring in moat because the combo doesn't care about moat, and I'm assuming they're not winning through damage. Unfortunately, uh, they're winning through that combo itself. No pithing needle either. Oy. Yeah, unfortunately, so pithing needle would have been interesting, would have been nice. Often you'll see Sorcerer Spyglass because the two mana doesn't usually matter. You're playing it in decks that run Moxon or uh, Misha's Workshop, but or Phyrexian Revoker. But, since I'm running Moxon, but no workshop, I guess I could have done Spyglass? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Maybe Pithy Needle works better, in, in any case. Yeah, this was, this was fun. This was a learning experience. Alright. There we go, I can, I can spell. Thanks for playing. I don't mean to let him go, but... Uh, that was that was fun. All right, everybody. Uh, you as well, uh, and and you all as well. You all take care too. See you later, magic community. Bye bye. <laughs>